Tiki has a very nascent visual art scene with a few gallery cafes as the usual exhibition venue and with a rich literary history to draw other art practices from. The theme of the Biennale is Subas Eraya, popular adage in Kinaraya, which means to trace the water to its source. It can also be interpreted as to go against the currents. A phrase that can also be said about the province's revolutionary leaders, the most celebrated of them was Evelio Javier. With these contexts and with the participation of the academia, local government units, and private organizations, Viva Excon and TKS is an ideal venue for Queen Papaya to explore the dynamics of collaboration with other sectors. Just like its namesake, the art space has thrived in places despite challenging environments. Tropical Gothic novels offer invitations to the Philippine nightmare, writes Caroline Howe in her review of Vicente G. Gurion's historiographic work of metafiction, The Sky Over Dimas. According to how the tropical Gothic emerges from a desire to contend with historical injustices and power imbalances as they become embodied through crisis and disaster. The exploration of these is well suited for fiction, capable of extension, digression, narrative sc scaffolding. But how does one render the tropical Gothic through photography and self-portraiture, genres which are loaded with issues of identity and representation? In Self-Portraits in the Tropical Gothic, Wawi Navarroza searches for a visual language for the Tropical Gothic in a series of vividly imagined tableaus. Living in the highlands of Cordillera while globalization was encroaching in native culture, Bosse carved out an art practice out of both neo and post-colonial contexts. His attitude towards the empire and his intimations of how to resist it were unraveled in spirited traces. Bosse knew exactly how to confront the country's ruinous history. He reactivated the power of the folk to subvert colonial histories and imagery, even almost approaching the point of absurdity. In a ritual-like gesture too, the artist scraped, scribbled, fired, and mixed these materials to conjure a world where the colonizers were subjected to piercing gaze and scrutiny of the viewer. In the spirit of magicians and tricksters and folklore, he is destroying the universe to make a clearing from which we can create our world anew. The monstrous feminine goes beyond concepts plaguing art and conversations of art. Lee Renew's intention with Mibuyan's colony was to displace and appropriate the Bagobo goddess of fertility and death in order to produce art that reaches deep into our historical psyche as well as our volatile contemporary. That is, if a deity worth exists in our day and age, ridden with security, health, and peace issues, it ought to be of the scale and monstrosity that is News Colony. If not to nurture us as her fosters, then to lend the reality where we might learn how to venture into the afterlife of a pandemic. Today, blurred lines between performance and authenticity manifest on social media. We pander to the whims of friends, strangers, and elusive algorithms for external validation in the form of likes and comments. The proliferation of labels such as e-boy and pick me girl on TikTok and Instagram heightens our tendency to define and thus limit our identities, making this place of off-brand sincerity precarious. We want to show ourselves, yet we don't want to take the risk of being scrutinized. How can we reconcile these opposing needs?
Ang pagkilala sa dikotomiya ni Juan Luna ay mahalagang salik sa malusog na kolektibong gunita na bumupuo sa bansa hindi lamang ang sangkatutak na bayani at canvas nito naganap lang na makakamit kung mananalamin sa kasaysayang hindi naguhugas ng dugo sa kamay. Iniaharap ng koleksyong uh, Bulto Series ang isang kritikal na enkwentro na nagtutulak sa ating pumili at magpasya ng panig. Ang patuloy na enkwentro sa bingit ng kronikong krisis ay isang patuloy na kontradiksyong kailangang harapin tulad ng sining, lumulubog at nakikipagkapit busy sa bulto ng mamamayan upang posibilidad ay likhain. Maraming ninanakaw na espasyo ang urbanisasyon. Literal na tinatabunan ng mga bato ang dagat at pinapatag ang mga bundok upang tayuan ng naglalaki ang infrastruktura. Habang lumalawak ang pagitan ng mga uri at isa-isang binubara ng urbanisasyon ang maliliit na komunidad, kakailanganin nating armasan ng sining upang ipaglaban ang ating karapatan at igiit ang lugar natin sa mundo.